Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to re-thread an overlocker, single overlocker, the right way. Um, you've got a diagram at the front, so um, you can see there which way to re-thread the machine. It says to re-thread number one first, number two, you can go back to three and four, which is the two loopers first. Um, I normally start from the right hand side, make, make my way to the left, so I can start with the bottom looper first. And the best way is to, um, I've got color coded threads so you can see the colors, the, the easiest way to thread the machine. So the hardest would probably be the bottom one, which you've got to thread the loop up. But it's quite easy on this um, single overlocker. So I'll just start with this one here. Good, so it goes through there, around the loop, like that. And I normally just go from left to right, so if you get the threads like that, you just hook it, there's like a hook at the back, and it just goes straight through the middle. This is the part you've got to be careful of. I normally pull the threads to the left, so it falls, you can hear it, it goes in there. You can hear the click, it goes in there. If you pull it to the right, sometimes there's a chance that it might not go in between the tension, so I normally pull it to the left and pull it down, straight down. And you can feel the tension. If you floss that in you can feel the tensions it's in there so i normally have all the tensions on number three when i'm threading and just there's another hook underneath here it just goes underneath the hook so it's all color coded you got all the dots And then you've got that one like that. So bring, turn the hand wheel towards you. So you bring the looper most right, the bottom one. So you turn it so it's most right. So that looper, the bottom looper, is most right. You just go behind on the back of the looper and come forward like that. And then you just slide it to the back. And it grabs the groove. There's a groove, a cut out in there. And then you just pull the thread. I'll do that again. I'll just pull that one out. So you just grab the threads. You go behind the looper. Like that. And just slide it in there. Like that. And then we just cut the threads and re-thread the, the um, looper point. Like that. So that's our number one. So what you can do is you can also remove if, if you think the blade is in the way, you can just turn it around like that. And that goes underneath the foot. So once that's done, I'll have it normally just get it to the side, to the left. So we do the uh, second one, which is the upper looper. That was the bottom looper. So we're doing the um, upper looper. Go through the guide, same thing from left to right. Like that. I pull it to the left, threads pull to the left, and pull it in there like that. You can feel the tension when I floss it in. Squeezes, goes around the hook. Like that. All color coded. Okay. So I'll bring that down a little bit. Just go straight on the looper. I'll pull that through the back. Same thing. So I bring that behind the looper. Just sits in there. So you've got both ready. And they're all color coded, so you got that orange, 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 and straight through the eye of the looper. So now we do the needle, which is the green one, right hand side. Through the tension, same thing, through the middle, 
hold it to the left, the threads, and just pulls in there. Very important to clip it to the left. It goes straight into the middle. Get around that guide there, the front. Get around that guide, and you go to the top one, because it's the green one. So it goes over the top. Get around the guide, there's a tiny guide there. It goes around it, or you can feed it through. And then we'll just do the needle. We can do that half nut, so you can do the blue one as well. The left needle. Hold it to the left, pull it through. Flex in there, you can feel it very tight. All the tensions are showing on number three, all of them, but they're all got different tensions, so um, if, if one feels lighter than the other, that's quite normal. Um, these are the two loopers, so that will be tighter than the upper looper. And these are the two needles, and that is much tighter than that one from the right hand one. So if it feels loose, it's like looser than one from the other, um, it's quite normal. So that goes around there, the guide, and goes through the bottom one now, or the left part, or the blue one. Wrapped around there, and it feels it does feel very, very tight that part too because that's the one that's going to hold your stitch, it's going to be the one on the end of the stitching. So we just thread the needles, just put the cutter down, does it? Okay, just remove the cutter, engage it back in there. <laughs> Feels very loose. That's quite normal. That's on number three. Around there. So this is going to be the left, the left needle. If you want to sew with um, one needle, you always remove the left needle. So you're going to end up with the right needle there. You've got to remove the left needle. Everything stays the same, and you get a three threader that way. So you get a narrower stitch. That's your fourth one. So you've got four coming through the side. You can lower the presser foot, ready to sew. And just uh, close the front uh, door. And look into the corner. Mm -hmm.